retaining walls are structures designed to restrain soil or any engineering material at a slope steeper than what it can hold naturally the earth retained by retaining walls may be a natural soil or any filling material as i mentioned before the material retained or supported by the retaining wall is what we call as a backfill retaining walls can be designed in concrete modular blocks stones or timber in various fields of civil engineering applications like irrigation hydraulics highways railways tunnels and even military engineering in this video we will be explaining what is the working of retaining walls and the basic component of a simple retaining wall structure Retaining walls are vertical or nearly vertical earth retaining structures that are designed to resist the lateral pressure of the soil or other materials. The soil retained applies certain amount of external lateral pressure or horizontal pressure on the wall surface trying to move the wall from their original position. This stress imposed is a function of the height as well as the density of the backfill. All the retaining walls are designed to sustain this lateral pressure and keep the wall stable in position. Retaining walls are designed by considering various lateral pressure theories and considering the possible retaining wall failure modes expected for a durable and a safe structure. With various design consideration, the main purpose of retaining wall is to help create level areas in a sloping terrain to provide additional support for naturally formed slope and also help build terraces for infrastructure in essence retaining walls helps to maximize the space on the site that would have stayed ideal due to the sloped terrain retaining walls can fail in several ways so these are the failures that are actually studied before designing an actual structure the mode of failure of a retaining wall is considered for the effective design of the whole retaining wall structure overturning sliding failure bearing check overstress general stability are the basic failure occurred overturning occurs when the wall bends or topples over due to excessive outward force sliding failure occurs when the wall moves horizontally often due to the non cohesive soil nature bearing check examines if the soil under the wall can support its weight overstress refers to the excessive bending or shearing forces on the wall and the general stability check over stability including slope failure and the base stability by considering these failure modes engineers ensure retaining walls are designed to withstand these forces that may face and they can remain stable over time let's familiarize the basic components of a retaining wall number 1 is stem the stem forms the vertical portion of the retaining wall The upper portion of the stem is free and the bottom is connected to the base footing that is the toe and the heel slab as shown in the figure. Stem have a greater slenderness ratio and it supports majority of the filling material. The thickness of a stem can either be uniform or increased from top to bottom based on the design requirements. Number 2 is toe and toe slab. the portion of the footing lying over the compacted soil mass and projecting at the front of the wall forms the toe or the toe slab it lies on the top of the compacted soil where the soil mass is not retained it is also mentioned as the base footing of the retaining wall toe of the retaining wall helps distribute the weight of the wall and applied load uniformly on the below ground It can be extended beyond the face of the wall to increase the stability of the overall structure. Number 3 is heel or heel slab. The portion of the footing lying over the compacted soil mass and projecting out at the backfill side forms the heel or the heel slab. 
It lies on the top of the compacted soil where the soil mass is retained. The length of the heel is always larger than the toe slurp due to the following reasons. Longer length of heel helps to increase the self weight of the retaining wall. This way it helps to impose gravity self weight load on the base of the footing which helps increase the stability of the structure. This also helps to increase the counter moment or the restoring moment against the overturning moment that is caused due to the lateral pressure from the retained mass or the backfill. Number 4 is shear key. Shear keys are small projections provided at the base of the retaining wall to increase their sliding resistance. The shear key is placed exactly below the base footing in line with the stem so that the placement of reinforcement in stem can be extended directly into the shear key. The shear key is designed depending on the applied loads for bending and shear. As per ACI 31717, the width of the shear key should be at least twice its depth. Hope you understood the basic concept of a retaining wall structure. For more informative videos, kindly subscribe to Civil Engineering Fanatics.